Hi, I'm Derek Shalla with Eldon C. Stutzman Incorporated, and today I would like to talk with you about our Ag Spray 6000 series pole type sprayer. This particular model is going to have a 1,050 gallon tank, 60 foot side fold boom, and an 80 gallon rinse tank standard. Uh, this tank here will be one of our smaller sizes for our pole type sprayers. Uh, we have an 8, 7000 and an 8000 series which will give us bigger tanks and a bigger boom. We can go up to a 132 foot boom and a 1950 gallon tank. The first thing I'd like to talk with you about on this sprayer is our tank. So uh, like I said before, this will be a 1050 gallon tank. It'll be total drainable with a bottom sump. Internally, it'll have two rinse balls and then at the bottom we'll have two agitators. Uh, the front side of this tank will have a sight gauge tube which will have a fill capacity chart on there. Uh, the tank wise itself, one of the biggest new features on the sprayer will be what I call a teardrop style tank. Compared to our older series, we had a more rectangular shaped tank, which was longer. So what that gives us is a shorter chassis, which means a shorter hitch to axle distance, which is on this particular model will be 158 inches. The next thing we'll take a look at is our tire, rim and axle assembly. Uh, so the tires on this guy will be an Agrimax new tire, which will be a 320-90R38 tire. It'll be sitting on 8-bolt hubs and then an adjustable axle. The axle on this guy will go from 60-inch to 120-inch spacing. The next part I'd like to touch base on will be our sprayer control panel. So first we'll have our 2-inch quick fill. This will be for our rear 80-gallon rinse tank. The next valve will be our 2 inch quick fill for our product solution tank. Off to the side here will be our rinse valve for hand wash for washing chemicals. And then this valve here will be our selector valve. So what this is choosing is between our pump if it's pulling product off our main solution tank or our rinse tank for when we need to clean. Uh, up here finally will be our three way valve which you can choose between our rinse balls or have an agitation. Next we'll touch base on our plumbing for the sprayer. So coming out of the bottom of our solution tank we'll have a main shut off valve and from that main shut off valve we'll come into our two inch strainer which will catch any main debris coming out of your tank. From that two inch strainer we'll come to our uh, Hypro centrifugal pump. Uh, that model number on that guy will be a 9306C HM1. So our pumps now come standard with a built-in PWM valve. And for people that don't know, that PWM valve is gonna act as your control valve now. So on your rate controller you pair the sprayer up with, it's gonna send voltage and tell that control valve to open or close to let more hydraulic flow to your pump. And what that does is in speed and slow down your impeller so you can hit your target rate. Uh, I personally like the PWM valve because I'll find that it's a lot faster reaction time when you're turning off sections and also it's a smoother rate. Uh, other benefits on the PWM valve will be it prevents over speeding your hydraulic orbital motor which can take the seal out on it. It also prevents any backflow of hydraulic flow so you can't spin your pump in reverse and also prevent you from ever slamming your pump to a stop, which also take out your orbital motor. Off that orbital motor, then we'll come up, follow the flow to our Raven flow meter. Uh, we usually send these standard just because it's a more universal flow meter that works with most rate controllers. If we follow that flow meter through for the flow, it comes to our bank of manifold valves. Uh, standard with this will be T-Jet manifold section valves. Um, they will also have the flow back feature. The flow back feature is nice for the fact if you ever notice on your headlands when you turn around, sometimes it takes a while before your check valves kick in at that 10 PSI because there's a lot of pressure on your boom to bleed down. These flow back releases that pressure back into your tank so then you'll have faster turn off times. Off of these T-Jet valves then we come into our main strainers. As you can see, they're really easy to get to. It doesn't get on your sprayer when you're cleaning them. And from those, we go out to our boom. The last part on this sprayer I'd like to touch base on will be our boom. So the boom on this, like I discussed earlier, will be a 60 foot side fold boom. Uh, I just want to point out that this is actually the same boom that we've been using and selling probably for 10 years now. 
It was on our old series of sprayers. Um, you know, it's a well-built, well-engineered, high tensile strength boom that we've got along with, so they've kept it with our new series of sprayer. Uh, from there, I'll kind of break down the sprayer into sections. So we'll start here on our back section. What you'll notice about it is there's a 10 foot wide section here, uh, which makes it a narrow transport sprayer for pulling down the road. Uh, also, you'll notice that we have our hydraulic accumulators here. So those are hydraulic accumulators, what they're for is when you're actually in your spray position going across the field, you're hitting those ditches and your booms bounce around. So those hydraulic accumulators are actually absorbing that impact on your boom through the hydraulics. These are set at 400 PSI, so it will extend the life of your boom and make them last a lot longer. From there, we'll go out to our main outer wings, the first outers. Those will be uh, front folding and set in a cradle and have a lockdown position. Those are also a four x four frame, which will be been high quality for us. On the very outside, we'll have our flip wings, which will fold over. And on the end of those, we'll have a 10 foot breakaway on both sides. That's just in case you hit a fence, hit a pole. Hopefully that breakaway comes back, you hit it on that portion so it doesn't damage any of your boom. The boom itself then will be plumbed with a T-Jet single nozzle bodies, which will have built-in 10 PSI check valves. We do have the option for three-way valves also if needed. Uh, the boom itself uh, will be controlled hydraulically through a easy-to-use sev seven-function box. That guy will be electric over hydraulic, so you only need one remote to run this boom. Thank you for watching our video on our 6000 series sprayer. Uh, I just want to state that you know, a lot of our customers have came back to us and told us how our sprayer has been a real asset to their operation. So for more information, please give us a call.